Welcome to our first conference wrap-up. Here are Patrick, Frank, and Andy with highlights from this past weekend's WBL matchups. In the WBL now, Elida looking for win number 10 on the season hosting Van Wert. The Cougs looking to go two games over 500 for the first time all season and also trying to get their fourth game win in a row. How about these Van Wert fans? They were excited. First quarter, Cougs in transition. Owen Tree spots Drew Bagley, who buries the opening three. Elida answers back with some range of their own. Max Parker straight away for Peter Parker. Spider-Man ties it at three. I don't know if his nickname is Spider-Man. We just gave it to him. How about the Cougs playing defense? Lawson Blackmore, the steal, and he will sprint to the finish. Good job going up strong. Bulldogs turn out. Logan Johnson, the offensive stick back. Ben Johnson, a block at this end. They had a series of three or four blocks in that first quarter. Then he gets the offensive rebound and off balance, gets it to go. What a sequence for him. But Van Wert playing hard all night. Great catch by Bagley. He finishes and the Cougs big from the free throw line down the stretch. Elida drew within about four points in that fourth quarter. But Van Wert holds on for a nice victory. Fourth straight for Mark Bagley's crew. 57-48 the final. They did it without the quarterback. And he plays. He was out. The Bulldogs. Huddling up, taking on Wapakoneta on the road. Here's Aaron Good, takes the three from downtown, puts Wapak up 43 to 29. And here's a pass to Brandon Yesner, finds the path to the hoop and lays it in off the glass. Now here's Reed Merkel from the three from the outside and another miracle for him. Now another pass to the outside to Merkel and he lands the three, that's two straight shots for him. Now here's Yesner, down low, puts it in, in traffic, and scores. And guess what, it's Merkel, again for three. What's new? Scoring his third three. Now with a pass to Brett Sweeterman, drives, takes it to the basket, in traffic, and scores. Now this time it's Austin Oakley who knocks down the deep three a few feet behind the arc, cashing in for the trifecta. So we go on to see our final scores. Wapakoneta winning 81 to 54. Reed Merkel with 32 points and a school record 10 made three pointers, showing his range all day long. And Adam Scott, 21 points, 11 rebounds and six assists. The team in the huddle getting ready. Now here's Herringhouse, drives in the paint for the tough shot along the baseline and it falls. Now is, now is Hegel, loses some control, but gets the three pointer up and puts that one through. Now here's Hegel, gets the break, and that one goes in as Aaron Ryman goes up for the layup. Now good ball movement, movement for the Bulldogs as Nasir Mitchell gets the easy two. Now DJ Dobson back in action, hits one from deep, drains the three at the top. Now here's James Seeley, gets a look, but drives in to the paint for the easy two. Here's Hegel again, driving into the paint, and puts up the tough shot in traffic. OG would go on to win this one 76 to 54. James Healy with 11 points. And of course, Brennan Belt Levens with 19 points and Hegel with 18. Kenton Band into it as we get ready for the third quarter at this point. About Justin Banky with the steal, getting in there with the right hand and says, thank you very much. Up with the left hand and in. How about Jaron Sharp working inside? with the score. Nice job there. How about Johnny Caprella for the Indians? Catches O'Neal's block shot and puts it back in for two. I think it's an offensive rebound too. I think that counts. Caprella again with the nice move up and around and score. How about some more Sheridan O'Neal action? Drives up and in, right hand opposite side, puts that in. The crowd, as we see him there, Shawnee with the 30 point win over Kenton tonight, 75 to 45 in the Western Buckeye League. St. Mary's students fired up, ready to take showers. Not sure what that was about. Anyway, in the horseshoe tonight, hosting Bath and Carter Balwig finding Braden Dunlap to start the contest. And that one was nice. Let's watch it again. Actually, it's a completely different play. It's 4 0. Braden Balwig to Dunlap again. Now, Derek Grigsby for the putback for Bath, as that would be the Wildcats' first buck of the night. Max Milky from downtown dials it up and knocks it down. Now, Grigsby again is going to work down low around the defense and in for the layup. Final seconds of the first quarter, and guess what? Ball leg to Dunlap again, just the way they drew it up. 
third time just as nice. Final score in this one tonight, St. Mary's coming away with the 77-44 win over Bath tonight. As we look to our conference standings this week, these are the teams that still have a statistical chance of winning a share of the WBL title. OG still undefeated, but have yet to face off against Wapak and Elida. Shawnee's just one game behind the Titans, but they will have to face off against Elida this Friday. And speaking of that matchup, our WBL Game of the Week will be Elida facing off against Shawnee. And you can catch that game on WTLW at 11 o'clock Friday night. We'll also be broadcasting the St. Mary's Salina matchup, and you can watch that one Saturday at 1 p.m. Thank you for tuning in to this conference wrap-up. In the coming months, we are going to make a push to push out more content on social media, so make sure you stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.